<laughs> Dirty little secrets. Good morning, Glory. Hallelujah to you. It's Thursday. I don't know what the date is, though. I think it's like February 23rd. Probably. I don't know. And it's going to be 80 degrees today, you guys. I didn't bring a jacket. I'm wearing short sleeves. <laughs> it's going to be 80 degrees today in Oklahoma. I have been sick since Monday. Um, thankfully, I can, you can probably understand me. I'm not all stuffed up as I was yesterday and Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, I went home early from work because... I well I worked my eight hours I just worked through my lunch because I was just so um, sorry that was the windshield wiper I was just so congested and I'm one of those people that I hate hearing people sneeze and cough at work I'm just like go home if you're sneezing and coughing like that I was sneezing and coughing like that Tuesday so I went home early uh, and then Wednesday I called in because I was just too congested. <laughs> I was just too congested. I knew it was going to be more of the same. I don't know. Like the last time you guys probably remember me being sick was right before Thanksgiving. And I was really, really congested then. So um, I don't know what's been going on to be honest with you guys. I don't know. If it's just an allergy thing, a sinus thing that's going on with me, I don't know what it is, but I I'm over it. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing good wherever you are, and however your day has been going, how have you been doing? Been doing good? Doing all right? Maybe? Hey, if you're alive and breathing, you're doing good, okay? Has anybody else been as obsessed with the sunrises as I have been in the past like six months? If you haven't checked out a sunrise, please do it. If you never get the chance, if you ever get the chance, if you ever get the chance, check out a sunrise. It's like one of the best things in the world. work sorry about my crusty nose it's still peeling from blowing it but I'm about to perform operation on these glasses glasses <laughs> they are coming apart as you can see they're supposed to be a flexible frame but I think I must have sat on them or pressed into them leaned into them while they were laying somewhere and so now I gotta perform a little operation so, I have glued my glasses to the sink. Uh, <laughs> now I have to, <laughs> I put them on the sink and put the camera on top of them to make sure the lens part stayed against the frame, but I didn't think about the excess glue coming off of the, <laughs> the frame. What am I going to do, Dave? I guess the lesson would be to be more observant when it comes to super glue. Alright, got them off. I just have to be gentle with my glasses until I can get some new ones and some new frames. They have some cute frames at the dollar store though. But I don't know if that would be a good thing to buy your prescription glasses if you need glasses. To buy them from just the convenience store. I don't know guys. Have you ever done it? If so, let me know. Y'all want to see something? <laughs> That's what my glasses have been doing all week long. They've just been sliding right off my face anytime I look down. So, now that I'm off work, I'm going to go head over to my doctor's office my eye doctor's office and see about getting some new frames for my glasses for yeah get some new glasses pretty much because I've had these since I got glasses and it's time to get some new ones apparently uh, 
they a good run though. I've had them for four years, so I think that's a pretty good run. That's it, guys. Stuff is blooming outside. Can you believe it? Like random trees I see are blooming, and this is February. Almost over, of course. It's almost over, but it's not spring yet, and it's already blooming. Stuff is blooming. Guess what guys, I picked out my new glasses. Pick them out, they just have to, um, they just have to get them ready for me and everything. So, good morning you guys, it's Saturday morning and uh, it is cold. I know the other day y'all seen me, I had a short sleeve shirt on and I was, you know, doing my thing, feeling good, but not today. <laughs> I got this jacket on today. It is chilly out today. The sun is out, but it's really, really chilly. Um, I'm headed to work now. I'm going to do some overtime today. Make a little extra money on your paycheck. What's wrong with that? So, we can all use a little extra money. So, yeah. That's all I'm really doing today. I had other plans for today that just kind of fell through. Um, so, Good morning, yeah. Mari. Hallelujah to you. It's Wednesday, March 1st. Yep, March 1st. Uh, the last time I talked to you guys was like Friday of last week. I apologize. Nothing happened, though. Um, nothing happened over the weekend. Well, wait a minute. Did I talk to y'all Saturday? Doesn't matter. Um, it really doesn't matter. On my way to work. I know I always talk to you guys on my way to work. I apologize for that. It's just I'd rather talk to you guys and you know get it in before I forget. Um, yeah, March first. That means spring is around the corner, and I cannot wait. I love spring. It's one of my favorite seasons. I love it. So I just love you know crisp mornings, warm afternoons, and cool evenings, and beautiful sunsets and. I really like spring of course it does not last long enough here in Oklahoma because it gets hot pretty quickly here y'all I am so ready to get out of here um, David and I have a trip coming up I'll talk more about that once it kind of gets closer um, it'll be in a few weeks and I am so excited I'm looking forward to it <sighs> I'm so looking forward to it you know you kind of get that travel itch and you want to get out and about and see stuff so um, and this will be a brand new experience for both of us so we're looking forward to it oh and I think this morning I finally came up with a title for my book believe it or not it came to me in a dream so it's actually a title that uh, I had kind of I wrote down a while ago along with a bunch of other titles and I actually think I scratched this one out and then last night in my dream, I had a dream that just kind of summarized, you know, it kind of brought that title up in a way. And so I was like, you know what, I think that's probably the title of the book. So that's pretty much like one of the last pieces I was needing was the title. And that's why I haven't really moved forward is because I'm like, I need to name this thing. I can't just put it out there without a title. So, all right, guys, made it to the gym. Thursday, March 2nd. Made it to the gym. Uh, David's gone to class, so I'll be going alone tonight to the gym. We were supposed to get up Wednesday morning and go work out. That didn't happen. Um, but hey, today's a new day, and I'm here doing legs today. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have a dirty secret. <laughs> I have been picking my nose like crazy. <laughs> I know that's disgusting. Don't, don't, don't judge me. 
let me tell you everybody picks their nose first of all everybody does it at some point in time you will pick your nose but I think around last year when I got sick and I had all that congestion going on around Thanksgiving or whatever it happened around then because I had so much congestion in my nose and I was constantly blowing my nose I just had this bad habit of trying to make sure there's nothing in there because you don't want to be that person conversating with someone and you have a booger in your nose so I'm just like constantly like checking my nose and making sure it's clean and there's nothing in there and don't worry I wash my hands I use hand sanitizer it's just this I don't know I'm just like just very picky about it and very anal about it and I'm like I just got to make sure there's nothing up there and like ugh. and then of course I was congested last week so I think it's just heightened my paranoia about boogers <laughs> so that's my dirty secret is I've been just like picking my nose like ugh. good to go well and okay one other thing that's like a weird thing that I do is I don't like flies like if there's a fly in my house I am not going to sleep until it is dead um, if I can't find it and I know it's somewhere in the house somewhere I will go to sleep with the covers on my head like seriously like I'm just I don't weird stuff weird stuff like that like it's just you know you have those things those little quirks about you <laughs> dirty little secrets anyways um i had a good day today it's kind of long but a good day um listen to a couple podcasts um i was listening to this podcast i've been kind of in a self-reflection mode all week and i was listening to one of the podcasts that i normally listen to which is the wtf podcast with mark Marin. and uh i don't know it's just like uh today he was well not today this is actually an old podcast but this particular one I was listening to today had Kristen Wiig you know the actress from SNL and stuff like that it had her on there and she was just kind of talking about um, just her life in general and I don't know it was just kind of that podcast and then of course other things that I've read or other podcasts that I've listened to throughout the week and it's just kind of made me kind of a little more introspective I guess and kind of you know wondering what's next what's gonna happen next what am I gonna do next you know and of course nothing's ever for sure 100% but um, I don't know I just been all up in my head this week does that happen to anybody Do you ever get like just all up in your head just a little too much So that is the end of the night. Uh, I finished my leg workout and it probably wasn't the best thing to do legs because on Saturday I have a kid's birthday party to go to and it is at the skating rink. So it probably wasn't a good idea to do legs, but what are you going to do? It's a done deal. Got to get everything right and tight for the summer. So hey, you got to do what you got to do. So anyway, yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, this is going to be kind of a weird vlog because it's kind of a week long thing. It kind of started and stopped and started and stopped. So anyway, yeah, um, it just is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, comment below, thumbs up the video, shout out to the new subscribers, so happy to have you here. Um, Hopefully you bring peace and love with you. Um, and I hope you enjoy watching the videos. Um, yep. Yeah. So thanks guys so much for watching. As always, enjoy where you're at and where you be.